Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces and play the London system setup. Starts off with d4, bishop on f4. Trying to develop the bishop before closing its diagonal. Then I can play pawn forward. Just solidifying the center. Now, move like a6 defend makes you make sure that the bishop cannot come on b5. So anyways, we are planning to place it on d3, the standard position for a bishop in the London system. Then we can go ahead with the knight, trying to go to the center sometime soon. Now opponent tries to pin the knight and I try to remove the pin straight away. Now this is going to be weak because after he goes back, I take, he takes back with the pawn and his pawn structure is already ruined here. I can go in with the knight straight away, asking for exchange. And that actually helps me because I can take back with the bishop without spoiling any pawn chain of mine. And now the opponent goes back. I can play pawn forward. That would be very aggressive as well. Or I can maybe um, go ahead with queen here attacking the pawn too. And I think this is more dreadful for my opponent right now. Yes, the opponent can take. I take back and then I take a pawn and spoil his castling. That can even be mate if he's not careful. Now it's not a problem. I have this move pawn forward which almost blocks the king from going anywhere. And then uh, this looks like bad checkmate already. Is it checkmate? No, he can move now. Okay. But I'll still give a check. Why not spoil the castling when you have the option to? And I let my queen be there. It's just stopping everything uh, from being developed. And I can develop my knight. Meanwhile, castle either side of the board. Sorry for that. I can play pawn forward and break things open as well. And I think I should do it straight away. Open does take. I take back. Can play pawn forward as well if I feel like. Then opponent takes and I win the rook. If he doesn't take, I take, he takes. Uh, things can look different. So let's not take a chance on that. Maybe I can move, uh, sorry, develop the knight over here now. There's one option. I should castle first. So that I have a move like this as well coming. Attacking the queen. Um... I'm still wondering how I spawn forward. I think it's fine for now. Doesn't trouble me much. If my opponent cannot take simply. And even I don't want to take the pawn. Otherwise he gets freed up. Now I can actually take and take on the rook as well. That would mean a free pawn. Or maybe I can double up the rooks. I can go here as well with the knight. I have so much options. Let's go with the knight first. Attacking the queen, attacking a pawn, taking a, threatening a center pawn as well. The best move here for my opponent would be queen to c6, I think. Otherwise, he loses the center pawn or this pawn. Let's see where does my opponent go. This looks bad. Goes to the wrong square, I would say, because I can take now. Uh, and then this is coming. I can take with a rook as well. Jesus, I just spoiled his life with this game, at least. Well, that's a checker as well. That can be interesting because if he goes back, uh, then it's a mate. Sneaky mate around. If he goes up, then we will think what happens. But for the time being, he saves a pawn. I'll give a check to begin with. If he goes down, that's mate. If he doesn't and goes up, which would happen. Uh, what options do I have now is something I need to check. Maybe I can get my queen active and then checkmate. How is he saving this mate? I'm still wondering. 
if queen comes in between, I can even get my rook in between. No, that won't work. Then I have to find something else. Oh no. Um, it's compelling though. I can go back now. Let's go here maybe. Attacking the. Ah, oh, this looks nice. That can be discovered. Check on the king once I move my knight anywhere I like. Maybe like this. <laughs> I can keep it anywhere I want. Can keep it here as well, attacking the queen. Oh, that would be nice. If he doesn't move his king, which is the only square right now on a dark square. And if he does, what are we doing? Okay, he does. I'm certainly not going here. And I'm cert. I can take this maybe. Should I? Should I not? How is pawn forward? Doesn't work. Oh, maybe I have an idea. I go here, then I take this, and then I take his queen. Does it work? I think it does work. But why do I have to give my knight for that? I can do that without giving my knight as well. Let's go here. And if you place pawn forward, trying to stop taking me from this pawn. I have this coming as well and uh, for now I'll take this and then the queen. Open can resign. Actually should I have long back. This game was never going his way. And now where he does he go? Only square. I'll take. I'll take this as well. You can get bishop up and I can give a check. And let's see where he goes. And I'll take this now. He resigns. Saves himself from a further lot hell of humiliation, I would say, because he that was about to be mated anyway. Let's analyze where did he go wrong. So I was playing the London system, regular stuff. Didn't change much, just the basics where your pieces have to be. And then I played pawn forward, asking him to take, which he denies. I think that was the major fallback because then I could push my pawns forward, then ruin his pawn structure, then go on ahead with the knight, taking with the bishop. He goes back, trying to exchange the bishop, right move there, queen to c2. He does take, and I take back. And I can give a check first, so I can play pawn forward. I chose pawn forward first. Uh, difference was not that much because, again, we would have followed the same steps and he goes back to the safety more so. But the way I played, I first made sure that I am... Actually, that's the engine's choice as well later on once engine finished evaluating the situation. So pawn forward was best because I'm just restricting the king's movement to one square only if he saves by moving the queen. It's 2.9 already in the favor of white, as you see. And then developing the knight, right moves again, trying to push pawn forward, taking on, and then castling. I played nearly perfect in this game. I should probably check how much NTP loss was there as well. I played pawn forward, then attacked the queen, and then took the center pawn. As I was saying, the only move here which makes sense is queen to c6, which my opponent didn't see somehow. I took on the pawn there. Then he goes ahead um, and I gave a check, pushing him. Oh, actually he had this better move here. He goes here. Uh, my check doesn't work because then he has an escape square. Um, so yeah, that could have been nice. But instead my opponent chose to come up in the game, which even I expected him to. Uh, and then I went with queen onto f5. And he tries to exchange queens, which of course I denied. I was in no mood to exchange queens when I'm winning. Yes, I had thought of this move as well, that I should just go ahead with my knight, sacrificing it. The idea is simple. After my opponent does take this, and I'll take this, and then he goes back. I can take the queen or I can give a check. And he comes back to defend, and I don't have to take the queen, of course. Uh, and now that's that, that's a mate because of course my opponent will not see that 
he will not sacrifice his queen but do something else say this and that's made so that could have been one way to finish off the game but i went with the other trying to go with knight on g uh three there and then take on the pawn with the rook trying to take off the queen and then i took the other rook as well and that's mate in two that's mate in two how okay check and the only square maybe this leads into mate this as well leads into mate and what else uh, if he goes here then it's a mate with the knight oh that's a bad mate as well anyway it was supposed to end and thankfully he resigned because i didn't have to find a mate there anyway i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now to watch these interesting videos on a daily basis Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.